guys, so today I'm back with another video and this is going to be my first video in the back to school series that I'm hoping to do and I know it's like quite a bit later than a lot of other YouTubers but um, school here hasn't started yet and it won't start for another few weeks so I'm just kind of starting it a bit late. This is going to be my back to school haul, like just clothes and things. I uh, will have a supplies haul up soon as well, that's further on in the series but this is primarily a Primark haul, just the most of it is Primark because I needed to buy some like basic things that I can wear with the products that I already have in my wardrobe but then I do also have a few things from some places like Forever 21, H&M and online places that I will show you at the end of the video but Basically this is just for a Primark haul so that's probably what it would be called but yeah we'll just get started. So beginning with the things that aren't really necessarily for school I just kind of bought them in Primark because like I said it is a Primark haul pretty much. I got these headphones because I normally buy the in-ear ones and I have a few pairs of those but reduced from £6 to £3 and I think a lot of the headphones like this style were and these are just the over the ear or on ear ones, noise cancelling type ones and then this gorgeous powder blue colour. This is my favourite colour at the moment, I've just been loving this periwinkle kind of really light blue and for £3 I thought it was really good and I actually really like these. The quality in these is amazing compared to the in ear ones. The in ear ones are okay but these really really good because they cancel out any other like surrounding noise and I just really really like these especially for £3 considering they had loads of colours as well. I picked up a pillow because I'm going to be redecorating my room in a few weeks that's why I haven't done a room tour despite the fact that you guys really really want to see it I'm gonna wait until I redecorate my room because at the moment it's kind of just a mismatch of styles but I picked this up because it's just so cute and I have a few private pillows that are not actually on my bed at the moment they're in there this was five pounds and it's like a mini rectangle pillow cushion and it's like crochet really cute I needed a new pair so I decided to pick this one up just because like I said this is my favourite colour at the moment. It's a lot larger than my normal purse but I normally buy purses from Primark, I don't really like spending a lot of money on them, just I don't see the point. And my other purse is smaller but it's lasted me a long time so I'm going to have to get used to having like this big chunky purse but it's quilted and patent so I'm hoping because it's like this material it might last longer. And um, it's got like the popper clasp with the kind of coin slots or whatever in there and then it also opens up to some more pockets so I got that for £5. Following on with this colour I got this phone case it was just a silicone plain phone case for £1 in this gorgeous blue colour and then I also decided to pick up a plain black one because they were only a pound and I mean the only other colour that I saw there was like a bright fuchsia pink so there may be more colours but these were the two I picked up. If you don't know I'm going to sixth form college so that is year 12 and 13 so I don't actually have a uniform anymore because in primary and secondary school here I had uniform so it's just going to be like really relaxed I think style wise so I kind of went for more comfort but bag wise I know I'm going to be buying multiple bags throughout the year because obviously they're going to have to have multiple bags to go with different outfits. Um, and I do already have bags I can use but I decided to pick this one up because it's just a really basic one and it's a really nice size, it's slightly larger than A4 so it's going to fit all my folders and everything in and it's just black with a long strap, short strap, it was £12, it's got like two separate zip compartments which is huge and then also like an open popper bit in the middle which is going to be great so £12 is a really nice size. I know because like the quality isn't going to last the longest time but I just figured I'm going to probably buy bags in the future anyway because I'll have a bit of a bag obsession. I'm in love with this pair of shoes that I picked up, they are gorgeous. I've seen a similar pair in Topshop recently that I really liked in the sale but they were like patent shiny kind of ones and they did have a few different colours in like the shiny stiff material in these in there. Um, I think they were more expensive, I think they were either 10 or £12 and they had them in black, this colour, and I'm going to say white but I can't guarantee it. But I think they had the same colours in this and this is just the, the fake kind of leathery material, it's not shiny. I really like them, I think they're so cute and I was going to go for the black pair but I have so many pairs of black shoes already I figured this would just be a little bit different because I feel like they go with a lot more because they're such a neutral colour and these were only £8 so I'm super happy I got these. I'm probably going to end up picking up more pairs of these if they turn out to be comfy, just you know, different colours. Since we're on the theme of shoes I might as well just continue with the other ones I got. I got these little white kind of tennis shoes type things and they've got like a flowery crochet pattern on them but because they're white they were just a little bit different and they're quite thin 
that makes sense like they're not chunky like vans or something like that so they're like little tennis shoes and they're only four pounds and i got these basic black kind of converse style but again they've got a thinner sole and these are four pounds as well so they're just kind of more the basic essentials that i decided i would need okay so moving on to the clothing items like i said a lot of these are just basic and this will be a try and haul i don't think i said that at the beginning because so i'm gonna add clips of me trying these on i bought this pair of jeans and i'm in love with these it's like a dark grey acid wash print and they're super comfy they're about 11 pounds and they're the super skinny style so for 11 pounds these will last me really well and then for 10 pounds i picked up just a plain grey pair of skinny jeans i haven't tried these on yet so i'm hoping they'll fit they're just the normal skinny ones because i have a lot of just denim ones and i think grey is a little bit different 10 pounds for those i picked up a plain white halter neck cami top and this is just one of the plain cami tops but it's like a jersey material rather than a chiffon one like this one I'm wearing is and this is just like really basic because I figured I could chuck this on under a kimono or a jacket and wear a nice necklace with it so that was £2.50 and I kind of wish I bought more because they're not cropped like the Topshop ones are which are kind of more summery and I have a few of those but this is like a full length one. I got this jumper which I actually wore yesterday and it's probably the most comfiest thing that I own. It's only £10 and it's just a really plain black thin jumper and it's like a really soft not jersey a very thin knit material and it's almost bat wing because it's fitted at the sleeves and then it kind of goes into a more baggy material and there's just a zip down the back and it's really comfy it's just a plain white t-shirt it's not really anything special just to go under jackets and things and it was three pounds and then got this oversized light brown cardigan it's just like a really drapey one fitted at the sleeves but then it goes into a baggy material it doesn't have buttons or anything and it was seven pounds just to throw over things when it gets slightly colder and then i have this great boyfriend style top it's just a boyfriend tee it says and it's oversized as well so it's an oversized fit and i got it in a few sizes up a gray material and it was three pounds because i figured it would be quite comfy just to tuck in to some jeans i think that was everything from primark so now moving on to the other places that i got a few things from okay so from Proper 21 i picked up a few plain tops just basic ones um i picked up two of these like plain vest tops i got a white one and then a black one and i don't know how much they were they're probably about two pounds i reckon it's mostly to go under tops and like sheer tops and things so that's mostly for layering when it gets a bit colder. I picked this top up, which is definitely one of my current favourite pieces at the moment, just because it's so comfy. Forever 21 products, always such good quality. So it's just this really pale pink, like, kind of striped. It's not quite as sheer, though, as, like, the cropped, striped tops from Topshop that a lot of people are wearing. But this is long-sleeved, and it was £5, and it's such a cute little colour as well, so that's comfy. And then I got another crop top, but neither of these are particularly cropped cropped. So they'll just look good in kind of the colder weather with maybe slightly high-waisted trousers. And it's oversized as well, it's like an oversized boxy crop top with a pocket, it's just really basic and £5 as well. I got a pair of jeans from an online website called Fashion Union in their sale section. So because it was in the sale I'm not sure if they're still selling these or if they're like back to their original price. But I got these for £5 and I'm so happy with them. They took a while to come because I think they were probably quite overwhelmed with the sales but it was a big sale. But for £5 these are so worth it. So I got a pair of these mum or boyfriend style jeans and these are a bit different to what I normally wear. I've only ever really worn skinny jeans and I was worried that they weren't really going to suit me but I love them. They're just this kind of denim slightly acid wash and not fully. I just love them so much. They are the comfiest pair of jeans I own and for £5 I'm so happy. I wish I'd known how much I'd love these and I probably would have bought a few pairs. They're slightly cuffed at the bottom um, but they're full length, they're not like three quarter length or anything. I'll try and link them down below if I can find them again but like I said because they're on the sale I can't promise anything. And then finally I have a few things from H&M and these weren't bought initially for school. I actually bought these to wear to like a, my friend's party but I think I'm probably going to wear these for school maybe, I don't know, college, whatever, I keep calling it school. So I got this dress and it's quite summery but I reckon if you wore it with thick tights and a big cardigan or a jumper it would look so nice in like the colder weather in autumn time. It's a strappy dress with like this really cool detailing on the back and it's just a, it's kind of like a slip dress I suppose but it's not quite, it's not really got too much shape to it but it's not like bodycon. 
it's just kind of slightly hugging and it's a really nice floral pattern and I think it's about £12 or £13 from H&M. And then finally I got this really basic black oversized cardigan, it's super soft and this was £8. They also had these in other colours as well and I'm really tempted to go pick some up because they're only £7. That was it for my back to school clothing haul, I really hope you enjoyed it. I will have the other back to school videos up soon because if you didn't know, recently over the last month or so I haven't had an editing software and that's why my videos have been pretty much non-existent. So I now officially have the full version of Final Cut Pro X which means I can actually get into editing it's going to take me a while because I've got to get used to it and things but I'm just so happy that I now have an editing software that I can finally upload videos. So yeah I really hope you enjoyed this and also a quick note, um, I know a lot of people are probably going to comment about this and I did make a post about it on Instagram but obviously not all of you follow me on there, the links will be down below. This choker just before any of you ask, I made it myself and I'm going to hopefully have a DIY video up so let me know if you want to see that because all of you guys on Instagram really want to see it. So if you guys want to see how I made this choker, let me know in the comments and I will have a video up on that for you guys. And also let me know any other video requests other than back to school ones that you want to see because I think I want to upload a back to school video every other video. I don't know, I haven't decided yet. Yes, I hope you're having a nice summer and I hope you're looking forward back to school or if you've already gone back, I hope you're having a good time. And I will see you guys soon for another video. Bye.